We're learning Perek Hey Aloha Hey in a little sukkah. If you cover the roof of the sukkah with arrows, b'schorim k'sherim. Now the the arrow has a head, and the 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 shaft fits into the head. That's called a b'schorim. The cave is psulois. However. If it's made the other way around, that the uh, arrow head is pushed into the into the shafts, then it's possible. Go to the Purish. I will be sure to show you the with Basel, even though it's ultimately supposed to be closed up with the he- arrow head. Base Kibble Hoop, the opening there that's ready to receive the arrow head is considered a receptacle. And the Kabbal Tumma, they ever receives Tumma. Just like any other vessel that receives it, uh, it has a receptacle in it. The Magen Mishnah cites Sukkah. If you made the schach with arrows that are male, meaning that they go into the sha- into the arrowhead, then it's kosher. The kevois, if it's female that it receives the arrowhead, it's possible. And Ashi. Explains the Rashi Chetz also in Basel that the arrowhead itself is made out of metal. A base yad and the arrow, the, the shaft that holds it is made from wood. And there is there are two types of arrow shafts. One has a hole and you put into it uh, the arrowhead. There's a, there is a, that, that, that there is. That in the arrowhead is a hole, and you put the shaft into it, and there's a, uh, a way where the arrow shaft has a hole, and you put into it the arrowhead. You know, it calls the base yard, uh, the, the shaft is called chitzen, it's called the arrows, and therefore it's a cleates, which would receive tumor only if it has a receptacle. Therefore, if it is if it goes into the arrowhead, it doesn't have a receptacle, otherwise it does. My Mishnah adds that the Gemara is very close to the words of the Rambam, Rabbeinu. The Mishnah explains that the Rambam writes, Al Vishu, also in the smallest bit Baza, even though it's going to be filled, in other words, it was never meant to be empty for anything else, still it's, it's called a receptacle. Like, and Rashi says, like Rashi says, but when it says, that a vessel it has a receptacle, usually it means that you put things in and take them out, as opposed to an arrowhead, which once it's put into the shaft, remains there. Abayim Manoyach did not want to explain that the shaft is, uh, that the shaft is the part that's talking about and not the arrowhead. Therefore, he emphasizes Hudson. He wants to call the these the sticks, hutzen, that they're made from wood. And as the Ram explains hutzen, like we just explained it, that they're pieces of wood which fit into the arrow head. And the new ones, they were never put into the arrow head. That an old one that was already put into the arrow head and the arrow head fell off, it's forbidden to use because it's like a vessel that was, uh, or a garment that was no longer usable. As he mentioned in Halacha Hei, that every vessel that could have received Tumor, even though now it's no longer able to, uh, it's possible for Schach. And he points out that even though there are vessels of wood that I received Tumor, only with Rabbonin, but Chitzim, which are the shafts, do not receive too many Vimra because they are not considered a vessel. The Raven, Aloha Dalit, says that flax, which was broken and combed as possible because it's made to fill up cushions and blankets. And that's like leftover garments. The Maga Mishnah says that it's different because leftover garments were at one point eligible to receive Tumma. But these uh, these broken pieces of flax uh, were never in the in the pillowcase to, to become tome. The question is, if if you're going to the rivet, 
that it's eligible to receive tumah. Why, if the arrow, if the shaft, even if it goes into the arrowhead, and it's called a male shaft, it still uh, it can be done. Since it can be done, it should be considered part of the arrow, and be, it should receive tumah. The so Lacham Mishnah explains that according to the Magen Mishnah, the Rambam of Chitzim Schorim is kosher only before you place them into the arrowhead, and therefore. He questioned the rabbi that he says maybe he'll put it into the arrowhead, like the pieces of broken piston that we're afraid lest he put them into. He's, he's going to ultimately put them into pillows, or he could, and therefore they receive tuma. Avimenoyach says according to the Rambam um, uh, as well that Rambam only says that the zchorim are, are, are kosher these sh- are shafts. Only before he put them into the into the metal, but once he put them into the shaft, it is a vessel, it is a clean, and it receives tumor. The lechem mishnah brings a shilti kabbayim in the name of the riyaz. After you put them into the metal, the even the uh, shafts that are zochra apostle, because they are considered like garments that have been worn out, and therefore even before you put them in. They should be possible according to the rival, and that's what he questions. And uh, therefore, it would seem that the rival would concur with this, and there's no que- argument that it's any different. On the left, it would seem that the rival is of the opinion that even the shafts which fit into the into the arrowheads. Even if they are put into the arrowheads, they will not receive tumor. Maga Mishnah questions this according to the Raivan that it should only be if he didn't put it in yet. But after it was put in, it should be possible. Therefore, he questions on the Raivan that even if it wasn't yet put in, it should be possible. Because if we're going to say it's possible after it's put in, what's the, what's the difference? The Shulchan Aruch codifies Aloha. If you used arrow, uh, shafts that do not have a receptacle, it's kosher. If they have a receptacle, it's postal. Mishnah Brewer adds that if there was once they were once inserted into metal, it, they would not be eligible, even though now the metal is not there. Once they were eligible as a vessel, it remains upon them just like garments that are no longer usable. Even though it's made to be filled with metal, Ram says, it's called a base kibble, it's called a receptacle. And the Rajbo, which was Yaakov, question from Hilda's Kalim. A base kibble, a receptacle which is made to be filled, is not considered a, a, a receptacle. What does that mean? In a piece of wood that you cut into it a, a hole and you put into it metal if they are of a uh, of a blacksmith it doesn't receive too much because even though it has a place it was not meant for uh, being open and taking things in and out it's meant to put it in <coughs> once it's done for, to fill it it will remain that way forever it's not called a vessel it has a, be- a receptacle and that would seem in contradiction to the Ram, what the Ramam is saying over here. Mishra Siakov answers from Achaim Chazoin, and he pushes him off, and he concludes, you can say that there's a difference between uh, a vessel which sometimes you take out the filling, and therefore it's called a vessel that has a receptacle, and it does receive tumor. But by Kalim, the Ramam is very careful to write that it's only made for one purpose, to fill it up. That, and therefore, it would seem that by arrowheads, if you got a better arrowhead, you would change it for a different arrowhead, and therefore, it would be Mechabal Tumor. Yagos Haroyim wants to answer so, and he brings some choices. That it's a diff- difficult to make such a distinction between what's going to be permanently fill, filled or maybe might be used. And it doesn't seem to that that's a different distinction. Therefore he answers, Malayorim does, that before it's filled, it's considered a receptacle. 
And we were, we were talking about they didn't fill it yet, therefore it's considered a, a, a receptacle. And the Hill's Kalim is talking about that it was already filled by the, what the smithing needs is the metal, and therefore it does not have a rule of a base kibble. But even this he asks as well, if he filled it, it the, the metal should cause it to become tomic. And therefore the Hill's Kalim is talking about that he didn't fill it yet. And he continues on in his uh, work to discuss this.